Have you ever been on a Ferris wheel? Have you ever wondered who created this massive observation wheel? The children's picture book, The Fantastic Ferris Wheel, the story of inventor George Ferris answers this question. This picture book also shares with its audience the story behind how the Ferris wheel became a favorite carnival ride. Betsy Harvey Kraft is the author of the nonfiction children's picture book, The Fantastic Ferris Wheel. Mrs. Kraft has also written several other nonfiction children's picture books, including Theodore Roosevelt's Champion of the American Spirit, which has received notable awards from both the American Library Association and the National Council of Social Studies. Mrs. Kraft specializes in nonfiction picture books. Remember, a nonfiction picture book means a picture book that is based on facts, real events, and real people such as a biography or history book. The Fantastic Ferris Wheel is based on real events that occurred in George Ferris's life. Therefore, this book fits perfectly into the category of a children's nonfiction picture book. Since Mrs. Kraft lives in Washington, D.C., she travels to local schools within our area to conduct read-out-louds for the entire student body. Three months ago, Mrs. Kraft attended Hyattsville Elementary School where I had the honor to meet her. Mrs. Kraft partners with the Children's Literary Foundation, and in order to increase the literacy rate within our area, they provide a copy of her book to each student she comes in contact with. I had the privilege of having her sign the copy of my book. Steven Salerno creates illustrations for magazines, newspapers, corporate publications, advertising, publishing, product packaging, retail graphics, and many popular children's picture books. Thus far, Mr. Sal Erno has illustrated 25 picture books. The latest nonfiction picture book he illustrated is called The Kid from Diamond Street, The Extraordinary Story of Baseball Legend Edith Holton, which was written by Audrey Vernack. The book strains are the dynamic mixed-media illustrations which capture the enormity of the Ferris wheel and its spectacular appearance when it lights up at night. With an old-fashioned vintage flavor perfect for the subject matter, these spreads accurately depict the wheel and Chicago in the 1800s. This book would be a strong addition to a book collection dealing with inventors and inventions and useful for discussing how written text and illustrations work together. Since the illustrations within this picture book work wonderfully together to tell the story of how George Ferris invented the Ferris wheel. The illustrations within this book were fully bled double page spreads. The setting in the fantastic Ferris wheel, the story of inventor George Ferris, takes place at the World's Fair in Chicago, Illinois during the year 1893. The World's Fair in Chicago was to be a spectacular event filled with architects, Musicians, artists, and inventors worked on special exhibits to display the glories of their countries. But the fair's planners wanted something really special. Something on the scale of the Eiffel Tower, which had been constructed for France three years earlier. At last, engineer George Ferris had a crazy, unrealistic, gigantic idea. He would construct a 26-story tall observation wheel. The planners didn't think it could be done. They thought it would not be safe. But George fought for his design. Finally, in December 1892, with only four months to go until the fair, George was given permission to build his wheel. He had fought the tight schedule, bad weather, and general disapproval. Against all odds, the Ferris wheel turned out to be the talk of the fair and proof that dreaming big dreams could pay off. Today, George's Ferris wheel is an icon of adventure and amusement throughout the world. The Fantastic Ferris wheel is a great book for students in grades kindergarten through fourth grade. Some important Bloom taxonomy questions for this grade level that can stem from this picture book includes, from the given information, can you develop a set of instructions about creating a Ferris wheel? 
This question comes from Taxonomy Level 3 Applying. A second question comes from Taxonomy Level 5 Evaluating. How would you feel if no one believes in you? Would you give up on your dreams? And a third question comes from Taxonomy Level 6 Creating. How would you devise your own way to creating an operating wheel? As a fun classroom activity, I would have students conduct a raft. The students will take the role of a first-time Ferris wheel writer. Students will write about their experience to themselves as a personal journal entry. A fun activity that teachers can have their students do with this picture book would be to create a big wheel. This lesson would focus on the engineering behind creating a Ferris wheel. Students can work in teams to explore the history of big wheels and construct a working wheel with materials of their choice. It is important for students to be able to connect with the text they are reading. Text to text, text to world, and text to self are different reading strategy questions created to help students make these connections. For a text to text connection, I suggest that students read Mr. Ferris and His Wheel, which just like the fantastic Ferris wheel is about George Ferris and his invention. Then students can compare and contrast both books. For a text to world connection, I suggest that teachers ask their students if this story reminds them of another story that they have heard or read about. And last but not least, for a text of self-connection, I would ask students the question, have you ever been on a Ferris wheel before? Thank you for watching my book trailer on the fantastic Ferris wheel, the story of inventor George Ferris. To purchase this book, go to your local Barnes & Noble.